meat burgers are always so so delicious but veg burgers are equally as delicious especially when made right and for today i'm going to show you my favorite veg burger my thyme and cumin veg burger which is going to be so spectacular as always and whether you're a meat lover or someone who prefers to live the vegetarian kind of lifestyle you're going to really enjoy this one welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my channel I've just added a tiny bit of oil to my pan and now I'm going to add some salt kama kawaida and now the first step the step we're going to begin with is sauteing the first set of ingredients which include our mushroom and the first thing to go onto my pan are my red onion my dania stems and my garlic Thereafter, I'm going to add my button mushrooms and saute everything on high heat. After about two minutes, I'm going to add my spices and for that I chose to use black pepper, dried thyme and cumin. You can use any kind of mushroom but for me i opted for button mushroom because i know it's one kind you guys can readily find and they're also on offer so see where the chanuma make sure as you cook your mushrooms you always season them because that will also contribute to the flavor of the patty itself and also make sure they caramelize really well because that will also contribute to the nice brown color of the patty a veg burger with mushrooms is quite meaty quote unquote because it has a nice full earthy flavor and you guys know i love my mushrooms so for any veg burger i use i always have my mushrooms and my beans speaking of beans the beans i chose for today are njahe aka black beans they are really nice and rich and i know you guys must be thinking ah, 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 ah. njahe no come on guys using njahe for a veg burger is very very nice and i'm going to show you how delicious it always turns out and how easy it is to make my mushrooms are just about done so we're going to turn off the heat and proceed to the next step once your mushrooms are perfectly sauteed and browned place them into your bowl then add your pre-boiled amana jahe finally add some roughly chopped fresh dania My favorite veg burgers are those that have beans and mushrooms. Those two ingredients paired together always bring out the best in each other. And that's why I like having them as part of my veg burgers. Njahe have notoriously gotten this reputation that they are too dry and a bit choking. But in my book, anything and everything can be made super delicious, especially when made with a nice recipe and especially when made with a Kalvi's kitchen recipe of course <laughs> for this recipe specifically make sure you use a good brand of njahe if you want a nice end product and of course for me it's always amana it's also very key for this recipe to make sure your njahe boil until they are super super soft Yani you can crush one with your finger with ease and to make sure that happens make sure you soak your njahe overnight and for boiling i boiled mine with a bit of cumin that ensure that the flavor of the mushroom and that of the njahe have nice synergy and a nice nicely woven together when everything comes together now that everything is mixed in we're not going to go and blend everything you can use a food processor in the ideal sense but since i don't have one i'm just going to use my blender then after we've blended everything we're going to mold them into our patties proceed to fry them then we assemble our burger
we are now almost done i have everything prepped for the final step which is assembling our burger i added some cheese on top of my veg patty and i also have my creamy avocado dip it's the same dip i used for my bean taco on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram please do and watch that video as well it's very easy to make it's just some avocado plain yogurt some fresh lime juice and some fresh dania blitz it in your blender until nice and creamy and then set it aside for whatever you're going to use it with i like it for my fish tacos as well i use it as a dip but today i'm going to use it as the sauce for my burger now without talking too much let's start layering gorgeous 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 and i know the flavors are going to come through and be hot and popping kama kawaida at kaluhi's kitchen don't forget the exact recipe quantities are on my blog whose link is on my description box i'll also link down below my njahi stew recipe which every one of you which each one of you has to try out share both recipes in all your whatsapp groups because come on your family also deserves to eat all things delicious for me it's not time to eat so let's give this a taste Cindy oh, yes <laughs> and i always say if it's not messy it's not a good burger so let's go right in mm. whoa <laughs> mm. freaking delicious <laughs> mm. 